I'd say quarter scale maybe. Okay, we're in the town of Marshfield. And this is what we were coming to see. The Hubble telescope, the model of it, at least. Let's see what it says about it here. This is gonna be part of my TDD report. In memory of astronomer Edwin Powell Hubble, 1889 to 1953, discoverer of external galaxies and the expanding universe. The Hubble Space Telescope was named in his honor. Launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, April 24th, 1990. Dedicated to the city of Marshfield by the Hubble Family Historical Society at its ninth biennial reunion, erected June 12th, 1999. It doesn't say the scale, but I would guess it's probably quarter scale. But Google knows everything, so I'll look it up and let you know. It's very impressive, though, even at this size. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the Hubble Telescope replica. My first guess was right, it's a quarter scale, reason being it weighs about 1,200 pounds and if they were to make a half scale it would be somewhat close to 5,000 pounds. So I guess you got to keep it manageable if you're going to build a replica of something. And so uh, I'm also going to include a link about 10 facts about the Hubble Telescope down below in the description box if you get a chance to check them out among them. A lot of people don't remember and they think the Hubble telescope is this amazing thing, which it is, but when it first went up it did not see very clearly. They made a mistake in grinding the optics. They made it about one fiftieth of a human hair error in the grinding of the mirror and that caused it to be blurry until they were able to fix that later. But since they have fixed that it's given fantastic results. And also coming up in 2018 will be the Webb telescope. So that's going to be a telescope that's going to be launched and it's going to be a lot farther out than the Hubble telescope which orbits at about 350 miles. This will be out 1 million miles away. It'll be farther away than the moon and they're planning on launching that in the year 2018. So that way we'll get a chance to see maybe even farther and deeper. That will be more concentrating in the infrared bands and the ultraviolet bands than the Hubble telescope does. And if it lasts long enough they hope to use both telescopes in conjunction to do some of the same exploration at the same time if the Hubble telescope uh, lasts long enough to be able to do that. So if you get a chance there's no reason why when you're on vacation you still can't enjoy science and science geeky stuff. So if you get a chance and you're in the area cruising Route 66 be sure and stop in Marshfield. Also besides the Hubble telescope replica in the downtown square right just a little ways away from it is a full-blown military 155 howitzer you can uh, get up close to it and uh, check it out, and it's pretty interesting. So that's it for this week's TDD report on the road. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.